Hi, I'm Yvonne Harrison, Associate Professor and Director of the Voluntary Sector Studies Network at Luther College at the University of Regina, welcoming you to this specialization on developing leadership and improving governance of nonprofit organizations. In this video, I'll describe why we decided to develop a series of courses on leadership and governance in nonprofit organizations, how the series is structured and the learning within it organized, and what you can do to get the most value out of each course. I'll conclude with our role and some ground rules for engagement. Again, thank you for registering and welcome. Why did we develop a series of courses? on developing leadership and improving governance in nonprofit organizations? Well, we decided to develop a course on improving leadership and governance in nonprofit organizations for several reasons. One, I've been teaching this course on site for many years and I've also taught it online and it meets the curricular guidelines for nonprofit management and leadership education. Two, this course contains new methods of teaching and learning academic service learning, and team-based learning that have been associated with student development and success. Three, this course also connects to our research on nonprofit governance and leadership, and through this research, we've been able to develop a number of open tools and resources for nonprofit boards and organizations to improve their leadership and governance effectiveness. And finally, it emphasizes a number of leadership competencies that are required by schools of public affairs that are accredited by NASPA. And NASPA is the network of schools of public affairs in North America. How is the series structured and the learning within each course organized? We've organized the series in three short courses. Each course examines a specific topic set of questions and concepts. The first course provides a theory and background to the nonprofit sector, nonprofit organizations, and the concepts of leadership and governance. The second course focuses on the role and responsibility of nonprofit boards of directors in the governance process. And finally, the third course examines factors that have been associated with the effectiveness of boards within the governance process. Each course is further broken down into five weeks. During weeks one through three, you will be encouraged to review content, take a practice quiz, reflect on a board case, and post a commentary in the discussion forums. You will also find guidance on the service learning assignment where you will have the opportunity to apply your knowledge to a real world nonprofit governance and leadership situation. Learning will be assessed during the fourth and fifth weeks. During the fourth week, you will be asked to submit a written assignment and take two short multiple choice tests. One test will assess course knowledge while the other assesses application of knowledge within a practical case. In week five, you will have the opportunity to discuss the tests and to take them again should you wish to change any of your answers. We'll count the highest test scores into your final course grade. How do you get the most value out of each course? We believe you'll get the most value if you register for each course in the series and you download the required text and complete all of the learning activities. Mm -hmm. This is especially important if you plan to use this for continuing education or to earn course certificates. Finally, let me say a few words about our role and some rules for engagement. We've taken the role as facilitators of learning bringing to you into one place the latest knowledge and research on a complex subject. All of the people involved are experts in their field and are donating time for a cause they believe in, and that's increasing access to nonprofit management and leadership education. And finally, I'd just like to go over some rules for engagement. As we launch this series of courses on Coursera's new on-demand platform, 
Don't be surprised if there are a few technical difficulties. We're depending on you to communicate those issues to us so that we can respond to them. We ask that when you do communicate those, you communicate them professionally and be respectful of the people involved. In fact, in all interactions in this online community, we ask that you try to emphasize the leadership competencies that we're trying to develop in this course. And most of all, have fun. I want to thank you for registering and we look forward to seeing you each week.